Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today we're doing a review on the Diamond WR300N. It's a wireless range extender. Now what I mean by extender is, for example, you've got a dead zone in your house that you cannot get wireless reception. You know, have you ever been to a hotel or a conference area or something and you wished you could get access? Well, this basically is a three-in-one device that extends the existing capacity of your um, router, for example, that you have to other devices in your house that has wireless capabilities. So laptops, iPad, iPhones, stuff like that. Uh, maybe you have a media player that's wireless or a TV that has uh, built-in wireless now, stuff like that. No wire needed. You just plug this in into the wall, set it up once, okay, and configure it properly. And then it will extend, of course, the range of which all your devices can access your network, basically. Okay. So if you have a house that you're not getting good reception upstairs or maybe downstairs, well, this is going to help. You need to strategically position, of course, in your home this little device. Now, the good thing about it is that it supports all the latest and greatest protocol standards. The security as well is very good. It comes with an Ethernet cable and that's really about it because it just plugs and plays. You just plug it into the wall, into your power jack, and that's it. Then, of course, there is a step that you have to connect it to uh, your laptop, for example, with the Ethernet cable and configure it. But once you're done configuring it, which is quite easy, then um, it's done, right? You can leave it there and um, you'll notice the, the speed, the differences. Now, here's a little device. As you can see, it just looks like a little adapter, something that you would use uh, you know, for your laptop or whatever. It has those four LEDs you know, for the power, the ethernet, wireless, stuff like that. When you see that you have those connected properly, the LED will turn on. It does have the WPS security protection as well button. Underneath it has the Ethernet plug. Obviously, there's a little cable that it comes with. All right. And a reset in case you need to reset everything. Now, in the box, of course, along with that, you get the cable that I just mentioned. I did find it a little bit short, though, okay, compared to other Ethernet cables. The Easy Start Guide, okay, with step by step instructions. And of course, the manual in PDF format in there as well. That's really all you need to get this up and running. Now, once you've hooked this up with the Ethernet cable once, like I said, and you access the IP address that it comes with, um, you're able to then configure it as a repeater, for example, and that will extend and allow you to access the rest of your network or, you know, get access to things that you used to have very poor, weak signal, for example. Now, I'll tell you, when I did not have this connected and I went to a weak place of my home, I would get around 9 megabits to 13 megabits per second connectivity on my download. But when I plug this in, okay, and I use this, 23 megabits per second download is what I got. It definitely gave me the full speed that I needed from this hard to get location in my home. So it really did repeat, extend, and give me the capabilities like it said on wireless and great download speeds and also I had security enabled okay WPA WPA2 security and things were running very smoothly so no issues there I definitely recommend this other than that cable being short like I mentioned earlier but I'd like to thank Diamond Multimedia for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching